Roberta Anding, Director of Sports Nutrition at Texas Children's Hospital. And as school starts up and your child is doing two-day football practices or there's uh, peewee football coming or soccer practices, one of the biggest problems is kids get really dehydrated. And so when we're teaching hydration to children, you got to make it memorable. And so what we talk about here at Texas Children's Hospital is what color is your pee. Why? Because everybody goes to the bathroom and everybody can check. Some of the other more sophisticated measures of hydration, you're not going to get a 10-year-old to remember. But if I say to a 10-year-old young boy who's going to go out and play uh, baseball, he's an aspiring Astros player, are you hydrated? I can say, what's the color of your urine or your pee when you get up first thing in the morning? If it looks like apple juice, you're dry, you're dehydrated to the point where you're risking a heat-related injury. And certainly the wonderful sports medicine docs here at Texas Children's do a great job of educating teams and athletes on how to avoid these heat-related injuries. Within a school, athletic trainers are the heroes. These are the individuals who educate teams on a school-based level. But when it's mom and dad that are doing the educating, it's what's the color of your first morning pee. If it looks like apple juice, you need to pack some more water in your lunchbox. If it looks like lemonade, you're good. So the goal would be getting every child in the Houston area to answer the question, what color is your pee? And the right answer is, my pee is the color of lemonade. I'm Roberta Anding, Director of Sports Nutrition at Texas Children's Hospital.